You want to go to the Browns game? Yeah, let's, we're in let's, that division? let's yeah. go to the Browns game while we're in that division. Um, you know, the Browns were kind of similar to the Bills. You know, they lost their first game of the season against a quality opponent. Uh, they lost to the, to the Chiefs. Uh, but then they came back this week and beat the Texans. But, you know, the interesting thing about that, I think Nathan was talking about this, we were talking about this before we before we got on air here, is that, you know, Tyrod Taylor was having a pretty good game for the Texans, and then he got hurt. Uh, and then that pretty much ended it for the Texans. And then if it wasn't for a Nick Chubb touchdown run of about 40 yeah. yards, uh, that game was close for a long time. Watching, I thought I had a feeling the Texans, the Texans were going to win mm-hmm. for the most of the game. Yeah. yeah, and that would have been you talk about some serious consternation in Cleveland. And, they'd have lost that game, and that's the problem with Cleveland. Something like that happens, they're downhill right. fast because right. they're just going to unravel. They're right. not the type of right. team that can I, have has the. I feel like the tough, the fortitude to get through a hard tough time. I agree with the front runners, but I have to yeah. say real quick. I apologize to the Chiefs fans that were offended. You can refer to the Chiefs as a quality opponent. The Seahawks are a quality opponent. The Bills are a quality opponent. The Chiefs are the two-time defending AFC champions in a row. They're, they're trying to get to their third Super Bowl. They're a little bit above a quality opponent. I, I, would, I, I stand corrected. Okay. There. I right. apologize to all of our Chiefs fans out there. Uh, that was a mistake. Yeah, the Browns, and they had a 22-10 lead right. in that right. game against the Chiefs. Uh, but, yeah, I think... Yeah, the, until the offense woke up. Right. But I think the Chiefs, you know, Nathan made a good point, too. Here's a, huh? Talking about the Browns. The Browns. The Browns. Okay. Here's the problem with the Browns right now. Jarvis Landry was just put on IR. Yeah, he, got, right? he, had, he had one catch in one other yeah. game. He's one our fantasy team. So. That's right. But he's I'm, on IR now, which did. means he's out for minimum three weeks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Odell Beckham still hasn't played. Still hasn't played. Better without him or what? Nah. Well, I don't know. They not now. They're not guess, without Jarvis guess, Landry. So so basically yeah. now you have no receivers, right? You got Nick Chubb and, and uh, uh, Kareem Hunt, which gives them probably one of the best running attacks in the league. And you got Baker Mayfield, who is, you know, this is another thing that, that doesn't make any. This this is why Baker Mayfield will never have a lot of respect from me as far as far as a quarterback. You're the leader of your team, okay? You're the franchise quarterback, the guy that they that they are looking to. You throw an interception, you try to make the tackle. I mean, he tries to make the tackle, separates his shoulder. Lucky for him, he separated his non-throwing shoulder right. doing that. Otherwise, he'd be out for however long he'd be out. So you got to be smart. I mean, you know, yeah, you made a mistake, but you know, you don't try to make a tackle on a guy. Okay. Well, I think that's his. That's kind of like his little attitude. His chip on his shoulder. But you can't do that. No, I agree with you. Okay. But but in what and in some some people may be hearing this, and some people may be saying, "Well, I like that. He's showing. He's showing. You know, he's showing. A, a, what do you want to call it? Like, a, you know, mm, yeah, he, toughness. Toughness, and he's showing that you know he'll put his body on the line. But again, though, the response to that is. If you want, if you want to have a successful season, your star, your star quarterback can't be doing that. Well, let me say this to those fans who would say that: if they were Browns fans, I know exactly what I'd say to them. If they were just general football fans, I'll say this: Let's hear it both. If a receiver tries to make a tackle after an interception, he's tough, okay. But when your starting quarterback makes a tackle and hurts himself, he's an idiot, okay. <laughs> and if you're a Browns fan, I'd like to ask you: okay, let me turn it around and say. Okay, you think it was tough for him to do that. What if he would have separated his throwing shoulder and you'd be playing whoever their backup quarterback is? I don't even know who it is. Apparently okay? he didn't miss a snap, though. No one else threw a pass. No, that's fine. Or maybe no, he, he, someone could have handed it Yeah, off. that's fine. But I'm saying, but that's that's the point I'm trying to make there is that you just don't, you don't do that. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, uh, but anyway, that's besides the point. What I'm trying to say is the Browns... So he's not going to miss any games? Then? He's not going to miss any okay. games. I mean, I think he's going to be okay. He, he's going to have a sore shoulder that they'll shoot up with pain medication... Uh, until Sep- it gets better. Separated is not the kind you can just pop back in, though, right? It's, 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 no, uh, separated sounds worse than it is. Separated is up here in your clavicle. I think there's a, what they call the uh, something process. You remember, Joseph? Some, well, you, the only reason I ask is because you have the uh, the uh, kinesiology uh, background in our family, as opposed to transverse process, okay, up in the top of your shoulder. Okay. And when you separate it, it's basically just a break up here, okay? You can play with it. You can perform with it. it you, you can't throw with it until it heals. But, okay, but it's not the type of thing where it, if you dislocate... He didn't, he didn't dislocate his shoulder. That would have been better. That would have been... Or worse. Well, I think worse. it would have been worse, actually. Uh, okay. The, well, the fact that it was his non-throwing shoulder probably wouldn't have mattered, but he still would have had to wear something like Ray Lewis used to yeah. wear to tie he it to the to, shoulder. He wouldn't have to wear that with a separator. No, okay. no. He'll just need pain medication. Okay. Yeah. But my point is, it sounds worse than it is, okay. but the point is he could have avoided that, okay? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, the Browns play the Bears this week. They host the Bears uh, next Sunday. Uh, I think they can beat the Bears at home. Uh, 
the Bears don't really don't really uh, scare me. So I think they'll be okay they're at least. Different. I know they're getting yeah, older. They're getting kind of older. Stuff, yeah, they're getting but, older. Um, look, look, I think they can definitely beat the Bears, but I'm not surprised if the Bears beat them either. I wouldn't be surprised uh, either. Although I just I'm contradicting, contradicting myself against the Bears are starting working quarterback. Brown mm-hmm. Stevens is pretty good, right? But yeah, they yeah, I, be yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I think we talked about this, Nathan, in our uh, a little earlier when we were talking to you and I about college football was you know. Uh, we just don't know. I mean, in college football, sure. it's hard to say somebody's going to beat somebody. And in the NFL, what's to say? Any given Sunday, right?